Hello, my name is Kevin Patel with A3J Group, and the trick I have for you today is around enabling eSignature in Maximo. Enabling eSignature is an action that is pretty simple to perform, but the problem is once you have enabled eSig, then you can only view the data in the database, but not in Maximo. So this tip will show you how to display your information on the screen for Maximo. For this video, I have chosen to eSig enable the remove work plan in the work order application in Maximo. So the first thing you will need to do is eSig enable the action. To do this, go to the database configuration in Maximo and then click on Manage eSig Actions on the left side under More Actions. And then filter on the application of your choice. For this example, we're going to select the Work Order Tracking application. Next, you will need to select the option that you want to eSig enable. So we're going to search for the Remove Work Plan option. And then you want to make sure that the eSignature enabled box is checked. So now you will need to create a relationship to the login tracking table on the work order object. So on database configuration, we'll search for the work, the work order object. And then open the relationships tab and we'll filter on login tracking. Open up the relationship. And you will see that I've already created a login tracking relationship um, for the work order ID field. So once you've created a relationship, you will need to go to the application designer. So we will go to system config, platform config, and application designer. On application designer, we'll now search for the work order tracking application. And for this example, I created a tab called eSig details, but you can also put this table on an existing tab. So on this table, I have used the login tracking relationship to display the user's login ID, their full name, the reason for why they removed the work plan, and also the date of when this action took place. So now if we go to the work order tracking application, and select a work order. And you'll now see the new eSig details tab that we just created. In here, you'll see the table below. Uh, there's nothing there, but let's go ahead and remove a work plan and populate this table. So on the left side, if you click on remove work plan under more actions, you will now be asked to type in a password and a reason for the change. Click OK. And let's go back to the list view. We'll repopulate the work order list, open the work order, and let's go to eSig details. And you will now see uh, the table populated with the remove work plan action that we just took. So you'll see the login ID of Wilson, full name Mike Wilson, the reason which is no longer a uh, need work plan, and the date of when the action took place. And that is my tip on enabling eSignature of Maximo. I hope this is helpful to you, and thank you for watching.